This weekend, we're building the ultimate she shed. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> For the ultimate she shed, we're going to start by extending the platform of our hot tub and build uprights to cradle the wood stack walls. In she shed mode, the wood walls will also act as a privacy screen for the ladies. But to keep it open and airy, we're going to seat the ladies at a wine bar that overlooks the lake. The bar top will be a cantilevered table made up of dozens of wine bottles. Keeping with the wine theme, we'll repurpose a couple of oak barrels. One that will convert into an ice bucket to keep the wine cool, and another into a table for snacks. We'll also include a few personal touches like my handmade corkscrew and Kevin's rustic wine caddy. To top it all off, we'll incorporate a clear story roof design that would let in a lot of light to showcase an elegant she shed, where our wives can finally enjoy some solitude at the cottage. Kevin and I are slogging away, not exactly able to enjoy the sunshine, but it'll be worth it. I think the ladies are gonna be impressed. Supervisor. So we're trying to keep things under wraps. So far, it's just a platform, so they have no idea what we have in store for them. So basically the frame of the she shed's coming together. We got the decking all done, it's all squared, leveled. We're ready to uh, basically put the roof on. So Kevin and I got the structure up this morning, uh, the big pillars that are gonna hold the roof, and then we uh, started to look towards the side builds. What if the cantilevered countertop here was made of wine bottles turned upside down, all stacked together? Could be a lot. Be a lot of wine bottles. So we need a door for the she shed, and I'm just gonna use this old door we have here as a template. So I'm just gonna make a little door out of uh, pressure treated lumber, and it'll match basically the rest of the framing. I task Kevin with a door. Any dummy can build a door. It's light, man. If you were stronger, you'd know that. Uh, so this is gonna be the uh, wine bottle table. Essentially get a little trough here put the wine bottles in, the tops of them will stick out the bottom, maybe with some plexiglass on top. Uh, we'll have a couple uh, planter boxes here with some flowers in it. So once I get all these in, I'm gonna trim it out in some wood, plant it, and perhaps light it. We were kind of concerned about the she shed being dark inside. This stuff's gonna be pretty cool. We had a lot of uh, ideas about the roofing, so this really fits the bill, you know? It'll be light and airy in there. It won't feel like you're trapped inside some wood cave. It's the right thing for the job, and for once, we got the right thing for the job. It's almost amazing. So we found these uh, nice old wooden wine barrels at the country store. Now we're just trying to figure out what to do with them. Yeah, sure, you could cut it in half and turn it into a chair, or, but as a wine barrel, it's actually pretty useful. For once, we're kind of going simple. Kevin cut a hole in one to inset an ice bucket. The other one's just gonna be a serving tray, so it's gonna like hold the wine and cheese and chocolate and all that type of stuff. What do you think of that? The ladies are gonna like a lot of things about this. Uh, there's gonna be wine in there. We're gonna have uh, nice meat and cheese in there. Some candles and lighting to give it that female touch that we're looking for. How to ruin a project in one simple step. How to make it so awesome. <laughs> People will be talking about it for years. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. I really like it. Pretty. Way more beautiful than I even imagined. Wow, oh my gosh. Buddy, I think we nailed it. Let's take the she shed back. <laughs> totally. Let's take awesome. the S off the she shed. Totally. It's the he shed.